If you guys want to learn how to set up text to speech for chat in your live stream, then this is a video for you. Be sure to stay tuned. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is once again Oda here, bringing you guys another tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to set up text to speech for your chat in your stream. And it doesn't matter what platform you're on, whether it's YouTube or Twitch. It's really easy. You don't even have to download anything. Also, it doesn't matter what software you're using to stream, whether it's OBS or. Honestly, I don't know any other streaming softwares, but basically it'll work on anything. So it's really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to open up your web browser. And then once that's opened up, go into your search bar and type speech chat with no spaces and then press enter. It'll be the first link that pops up speech chat. I also have a link for this down below in the description. So if you just scroll down and click, it'll bring you to this screen. So once you're here, you're going to see right here is this Google Drive connect. Go ahead and click this blue connect button and once you do that you're going to select the account that is linked to whatever streaming website you're on so go ahead and select that and then you click allow now once you do that you are pretty much done you can go ahead and test this out by going to your youtube so i'm actually going to show you how to do this for both platforms because majority of you are on twitch and youtube rather than then what's the other one then mixer so for youtube to test your text-to-speech you're going to go ahead and simply go to youtube.com then you're going to go to your channel. Then once you're at your channel, you're going to go to creator studio. And then once you're here, you're going to go to the left side and click on live streaming. And then once you're here, you can go into this live chat box and you can type whatever you want. So I'm just going to type ABC. And then if we go over to our speech chat, it'll take a couple seconds. Uh, if it's your first time doing it, or if you're not, if okay. you're not live. So as you can see, Said. ABC. Now that you heard that it played and honestly it doesn't sound that great, but there's a couple of things we're going to change to fix that. So as you see, I tested it for YouTube and if you're on Twitch, you're going to go ahead and go to twitch.com and just basically go to your channel and where your chat box is, you can type whatever you want. So okay. again, ABC. Set. ABC. And as you can see, it played. Now we're going to change a couple of things to make the text to speech sound a little bit better. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to the top right and you're going to click on speech chat then once you do that click control panel and then right here these are all your customizations that you can change i'm going to go over what i have and what i like the most so once you're here go to the voice tab you're going to go ahead and uncheck personality voice i would do this honestly like no matter what because having this checked sounds really bad and preferred voice this is where you can change what the person talking sounds like and also what language they're speaking so as you can see you can scroll through all of these languages they have so for example if we do this, Ode said ABC. So as you can hear, that is basically what that sounded like. But if you want to change a preferred voice, this is what I have. I believe it is this. And Oda said 123. So yeah, you can basically change the person talking. And I honestly like Google UK English Mail the most, but that's personal preference and it's all up to you. Anyway, so once you've done that, you're gonna go over to the chat tab. And this is really neat. This is speech format. So basically you can change what is said whenever someone types a message. So as you can see, when I type a message, Oda said ABC. You could hear that it says Oda said, and then it says the message. But if you don't like that, you can always change this uh this bar right here so where it says speech format you'll see that it says username said message what i like to do is i just like to delete everything except the message part so that way you type something abc it just only says the message now of course again that is personal preference but that is how i like it so that's speech format if you go over to whisper i honestly would just uncheck this because it's not really needed filters you can leave this and also you could see or you could set it to where you have to type a message with explanation point and then chat for it to read out but i just leave that unchecked and you can go over here to keyword filter and you could just tinker around with that and add keywords and all that now once you've done that go over to the events tab and this is basically all personal preference like i said but i personally I like having all these unchecked, especially if you have follower. I find that if you have read out message on, it'll read out all of your previous followers. So I, I was about to have 1900 followers read out and obviously I don't want that. So I would just leave all of these unchecked and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, just a little tip because I know I struggle with this a little on the user group tab. If for some reason your messages are randomly not being spoken, but you can see them or maybe you can't see them. You probably clicked around something in the user group 
make sure your settings are looking just like mine that way it'll work just fine so i'm gonna go through all of these right here also if the audio is too loud the only way i found that you can change the audio levels is to right click over here on your taskbar where the speaker icon is so right click and then click open volume mixer and then you might have to scroll a little to get to your google chrome but basically just turn this down. I really recommend doing this because honestly, I, at default, it is incredibly loud. I like to have it at 35, but again, that is personal preference. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's really easy to do this. And honestly, I really like having it on. It's super fun. It's really interactive. So yeah, guys, if this did help you out, you all know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, go down below and subscribe. And also check out my other videos if you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, yeah, happy streaming. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. I will see you in my next video. Peace out, everybody.